Hey guys, welcome to Fantasy College Blitz Triage Time. I'm Will Carroll and we're here in Florida getting ready for the Thanksgiving holidays as a lot of college football teams are getting ready for big rivalry games. Let's take a look at some of these injuries. Michael Smith, the running back from Arkansas, is an all-purpose offensive threat. But he's going to do everything he can to take on really LSU after a tough loss that last week. It just doesn't look good for Smith this week. He's got a really sore hammy. My sources are saying that he's probably not going to play, and without him, Petrino's genius offense, it just didn't look like much. Jonathan Dwyer from Georgia Tech. He's getting ready for a huge game with Georgia. He's got a seven yards per carry average, and losing that is going to be big, but it looks like they're going to have to do without him. He might be a partial play, putting him in in certain sets, certain situations, but that's a at-best situation. Really, Tech faces a tough matchup, but remember, in rivalry games like this one, it's never just about the matchup. Let's go to Kansas. They're getting ready for the border war. Kerry Meyer and Jake Sharp uh, had the bye week last week, an off week. I don't know what you want to call it, but both of them had time to heal up before this big game with Mizzou. They have very tough matchups. Now, Sharp is very close to a full go. Meyer is going to be more spotted in, but both should factor into the offensive game plan. Across the ball, Chase Kaufman, the tight end from Mizzou, he will play this week. It's held out last week by Coach Pinkle. Could have played, could have been in limited situations, could have spotted him in. They decided, no, no, let's wait and have him ready to go against KU. He is ready for a big game, and it is a big game. Remember, uh, they're setting themselves up for the Big 12 championship. Uh, the toast still an issue for Kaufman, but expect a big day from him. Chase Daniel really likes throwing to Chase Kaufman. Uh, Jaquiz Rogers, the pocket Hercules. He could put Oregon State into the Rose Bowl, but his shoulder sprain is going to keep him out of this game. So does tell me there is almost no chance he is going to be able to take part in the Civil War. They're going to do everything humanly possible. He's going to be living with the trainers and doctors. But he just doesn't look at this stage like he's going to be out there, even as a decoy. He's going to have to pull one of those Willis Reed, Kirk Gibson, hobble out from the tunnel thing. It looks like USC might be back in this thing for the Rose Bowl. Down in Louisiana, Tyrell Fenroy from Louisiana Lafayette. Somebody finally figured out how to stop him, and that was just pound him to death. Used a very physical defense when they took on Troy. Really took some hits, and, and he's very, very sore. The shoulder, a big problem for him. He's got an off week. And then they're going to take on Middle Tennessee State. So Louisiana Lafayette, those raging Cajuns, hope to have their dope walker finalist back. Now, there is one huge game in Oklahoma. Oklahoma, after a huge win against Texas Tech, is going to be taking on their in-state rival. Oklahoma State, always a bitter, strong game. Uh, Kendall Hunter, the running back, had an off week. He is ready to go. Looks uh, like he has absolutely no limitations. Now, Oklahoma certainly looked unbeatable against Tech. So Hunter's running is going to be key. They want to keep the ball out of Sam Bradford's hands. I'm Will Carroll, and from down here in Florida, I want to tell all the watchers and readers of Fantasy College Blitz, Happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you next time.